Well, I spent about three hours awake before I finally gave up and fell asleep, and it never came in, and I don't know what it was doing outside, and I don't care. <laughs> and later, I talked to Tom about it, that's with the Nori Show, the engineer. Are we going to get into it? Okay. So, are we okay? Okay. Maybe I could just put it in the corner of my mouth. But Tom told me, well, that sounds like Mothman. And I said to him, Tom, what is Mothman? And he explained, it's this creature that's been rumored and talked about, and it's a human-like body, it has a cape, and it can fly around, and at some place there was a farmer somewhere that had one in a tree, and he shot it, and it had green blood. Am I glad I didn't have to shoot it? Could you picture up clean and green stuff out of your front room? But anyway, that was a scary experience. I've seen flying saucers from when I first got the glasses to right now. I've seen them come by me five, 600 feet above me, and you couldn't see them with the naked eye, but you caught a glimpse of them with the glasses, and then you followed them. And I'm gonna tell you, there's different shapes, different sizes, but they're totally beautiful. It's awesome. I wouldn't mind having a couple of rides in one. So there's people here in the audience. Uh, I can't see because I'm, I'm uh, a deer in the headlights here. And uh, if you guys could stand up that have the night vision glasses. Right there. I wish they had told me this earlier. Okay, over here, uh, announce yourself real loud because your mic is broke. Guys, you're here. And they'll be part of the people helping you on Night Watch, Sky Watch. When we come out, you'll be meeting them. And this fellow right here is a dentist. His name is Gary. And he can introduce himself. Now, Gary, <laughs> yell really loud, Gary. Yeah. So you see, Gary and them are just a couple of people that prove to you that I'm only half crazy. Okay. Now, Gary and I and about five people that were at the Skywatch had a really interesting and great experience. I had seen it before and never able to film it because I had a camera off and was letting someone else see it. Uh, you, you, know, you know I got about that much space. Yeah. So anyway, in turn, Gary was sitting on a chair looking through my goggles. He says, Ed, you might want to film this. And, he, I, and he, I looked up and he says, there's three big ones coming in. And there was three big spacecraft that makes this entire room look itty bitty. And they were flying in a diamond formation coming in from deep space. And I would say they had probably a mile and a half between them. And there was one on the tip, one on the right corner, and one on the left corner. And they were coming down from deep space. And they shallowed out closer to Earth and closer to Earth. And then they came overhead about 150 miles high and I videoed it. And in videoing it, we got to see them change their directions, change course and synchronize. And this whole thing is about a two mile area. And they're lit up and they're shining in the sunlight. And in turn, they drop down and out over the ocean beyond Bodega Bay 
in California, it drops in out of the sunlight and drops down and descends into the darkness. And I can still see part of them, but I can't see all the way to the ocean because there's a couple little mountains in between. But their path, their pattern, and everything, away they go, and they're dropping down, descending in the ocean. So I'm pretty happy about that shot because I've seen them go into the ocean before. I've seen them come out of the ocean, but it's never when I have this hooked up. It's like, then they won't give me their schedule. So, so now I'm buying more pairs, making adjustments to have this done and hook up and keep them a pair ready to go. I've got some pretty good footage that will amaze you. One of the other good stories is we were back at um, Albuquerque, New Mexico last year to the Tesla Energy Convention. And uh, there's people here, I think Steve that uh, is here and uh, uh, a number of people were there. And we had like 30 people standing out around the pool of the resort that we were staying at. So we brought the night visions out and set up a video camera on one, set up a big screen TV. And when we did, we had a big mothership fly in about 200 miles up above us, flew in, came to a stop, and let craft out to go on patrol. And I was yelling, hey, the big mothership. And, and uh, George Gavori was holding the camera and filming it. And George saw the big ship, but thought it was a big star. And so he's looking all around it. So then he catches up as they're going out. And today you're gonna to get to see seven craft flying out of a big mothership as they are about 150 to 200 miles up and they fly out and they exit in formation and they are gone and they are real. And that's one of the things I'm gonna show you, okay? Uh, is the video person ready back there? Can you turn on the, uh, the uh, disc and give us that, uh, the one with the, uh, out of the UFO wars? Hello? Can we kill these lights down or? There. Four of them. Four of them. There's four. Yeah. yeah take, take, take the laser off. Whoa. Take the laser off. Take the laser off. Now that's the wrong film. They're making a look at two are separating. They're going the two are squadron. This is over. on my website. And hey, it's hey, these just don't exist, you guys. So we're just all we seeing the that. same thing, okay? Wow. Uh, yeah. There. Uh, the one that's on there says UFOs, and it says squadron. Play the part that says squadron and it'll show the ones that are flying out across. And whenever you want to, just start and I'll go along with it. Here we go. This happened in Albuquerque and you'll see some come out and these are spacecraft flying, there they come. Those are about 200 miles up and those are in a squadron. There's seven of them. There's two together at the very back side and they will part and you'll see that there's two of them. In a little bit, we've magnified some stuff. And right now, they're getting ready to part the two back ones. There's actually an eighth one. There was a moth fluttered by there, so you can tell what a moth looks like. See the two back? The two back ones on the left are going to separate a little bit. And these things are doing about 30, 40,000 miles an hour across the sky. And here it is, magnification. That is a fleet of UFOs. So now, believe me or not, you've all seen some UFOs. <laughs>